Hello my lovely juniors, this is Ashok and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the today's video, that is chapter 7, we are learning about the data types. First, we will check the definition of data type. In the PLC programming, data type will specify that which type of value a variable has. It means that one value uh, there, it is coming from any instrument or uh, uh, transmitter. So what is the type of value that variable has, it will show. That is very clear, okay. So first we'll check one, uh, two examples. Uh, first one is the height. So this is the parrot. I want to measure the height of the parrot. So what I will use, I will use this small scale, okay. But same time, if I want to measure the height of the giraffe, I cannot use this scale. I need the bigger one, right? So the, maybe this is a this much length. It means that to measure the height, I should have one data type and a variable. So you can consider this one as the variable. Uh, this is the pigeon and uh, giraffe. You can consider as the variable and this this scale 15 inch scale and this is the big scale you can consider as the data type okay so if i want to uh, if i have two different uh, variables but the data type is different because based on the size of the variable i have to choose my uh, this one uh, data type okay simple next one is the weight so these kids are playing over here and if the same time this this is the uh, like strength of the uh, cable it can sustain only up to 20 kg but what if the any other person more than 90 kg sitting here what will happen it will get broke right so here these guys are the variables and this this is the data type okay chain so how much amount of the weight i can take then only uh, after, based on that only uh, will uh, like uh, make that uh, settings so while traveling what we will do for the small children's we will give water bottle and small things but the uh, like uh, big people we will take bags and uh, heavy items because that is the variable that is the capacity of that particular variable okay and i think you have understood now we will see uh, th there is an uh, plant here i want all the information from the plant to this control room so what i will do i will use the communication protocols what is this communication protocol i will tell you later using the data type so yeah, there are thousands of instruments here uh, using the uh, each uh, instrument having the different different data type i am taking all those to the control room this is why we are using the data types under this communication protocol okay and then what are the uh, different uh, uh, types of data type uh, boolean in world real character string time and date okay these are the main very very important data types so what is mean by boolean it is a data type which shows the status of a digital input and digital output in terms of a 1 or 0. Whenever uh, you think about the boolean just uh, in your mind you take it as a true means 1, false means 0 that is finished. So boolean is nothing but 1 or 0 okay. So here I'm, uh, I'm, I will give an example about uh, like true and false just uh, by making one bulb on off okay. So if you take here. So I am making the bulb on, so it means that a true or value is 1. If I am making the bulb off, it is the bulb off, that is a false or 0. I will show you one more time. Bulb on, it is a true value or 1. Bulb off, it is a false or 0. This is very, very simple example, okay. I am starting the pump. So it is running, the value is true. And stopping the pump, it is stopping, the value is false. So this is very, very simple, Boolean and uh, so what is mean by integer an integer is a whole number that can be positive negative or zero in uh, boolean it was only one or zero here you can you will be having both negative positive and zero also so if you see it here i have taken the different size of pants for each uh, people you can consider these are the variables okay now i will check what is the data type of for each uh, people okay so first one i will consider as a four bit second one i will consider as 8 bit this is 16 bit and this is the 32 bit now we will see the size okay first one it is called as the nibble for 4 bits for 8 bits we will call it as a short int for a uh, 16 bit it is a int and for the uh, 32 bit is a double integer okay in the 4 bits if it, it means the 2 to the power 4 it can uh, contains only value of the 8 below 8 if any value is there i will use the uh, nibble 
if the value is more than uh, 8 and below 256 i have to use the short int if the values are more than uh, below, uh, more than 256 and below 65000 i have to use the integer if i am getting value more than 65 lakh 20 lakh 30 lakh 20 lakh like that if i am receiving any uh, values from the field then i have to use the double integer so this is very very simple okay examples of integer as i told you this is the zero you have the positive values and you have the negative values also this is the integer so what is mean by signed int in signed integer we have both negative and positive values with the along with the zero but in unsigned integer we have only zero along with the positive values okay so what is a word it is a type of data that contains 16 bits in it and it does not carry or include any unsigned values with it so first you have to understand the difference between integer and word because already integer having negative values positive values and zero then why the hell i have to use this word so your question is correct but why we are using word because of the hexadecimal value some of the uh, instruments giving me hexadecimal value so i have to read it that time i will use the word so what is mean by hexadecimal value if you know it you please mention in comment okay uh, now we will go to the real value sir already it is done uh, negative and positive values we have 0 we have 1 or 0 we have why the hell I want real ok just check it it is a type of data type which carries or contains the floating values within its limits ok so see now I have flown float and a double float for single float I have to take 32 bits means in the floating value minimum you need a 32 bit ok this much so if it is more than one lakh uh, something kind of thing then uh, we will uh, use it minimum it will go okay so then uh, what is mean by real value see in the word integer and boolean we will be having only positive numbers negative numbers but we don't have this floating number decimal so if any value is giving for example i have a tank like this if it is giving uh, some level if i want to use only for 0 to 100 percent then i no need to use real integer word are enough but if i want to measure like this 1.1 level also i want to measure 20.5 also i want to measure then i will use the real data type okay it is very very clear character it may be a number or an alphabet or any symbol that states within the single quotation mark with the ascii format so still now we are reading only numbers but if i want to read also alphabets and symbols then i will use the character okay so what is mean by ascii because this uh, character following the ascii format american standard code for information interchange now we will see the ascii chart so here how ascii chart work so if i am uh, selecting the random numbers from here like this so if uh, value from the instrument i will get as 0 1 6 32 10 60 like that so then i have to combine all those uh, like null acknowledge lf left uh, space and 3c so this is what the message giving to me so I will get the, uh, from the instrument I will get this numbers 1 2 3 4 something like this so and uh, I will, whenever I am merging so I have to uh, take th these values okay this is why we are using the ASCII chart so uh, you can read it whenever you are free and what is mean by string Sh string is a set of characters you can say okay I will show you uh, this definition you can read it is very very easy and then character see whenever you are messaging someone it will be like it, it will show right maximum 160 characters after 160 characters what it will show it, it will add as a second message right so it means that for one byte you have the one character so here maximum they have uh, configured for 160 characters okay so but it is the up to 250 characters you can uh, take there and uh, in the whatsapp status also if you see here it will allow maximum 700 characters only because the whatsapp design with the only 2.7 byte for the whatsapp status it is a 2.7 characters so totally 700 characters only you can insert now it is very very easy right in the daily life also you are using the uh, this data right? character okay what is mean by string say uh, if, if, if like uh, whenever you are uh, receiving the character you are receiving like this one two three but i want to merge it once and read what i want to uh, what our, I, I want text like exact message so what it will do the character to string so characters we will receive like this but if you want to show message then we have to merge it for merging we will use the string so it is called as the it is the combination of set of a characters which lies within the double quotes okay finish 
so what is the time and da uh, data type okay so for time and date also we have data type if you are using the four bit it will show only minutes and seconds and uh, milliseconds but if i want to see also microseconds and nanoseconds i have to use the eight bit this your time also have the data type okay so these are all the data types uh, we, we are using in uh, daily life okay so these are very very important if you know this data types very well programming is very easy and you will also get to know how to uh, like read uh, values from the field and instrumentation will be very very easy and uh, in the next chapter we are covering the logic gates it is the very very important topic if you know logic gates you can make any programming just like this okay so we will meet in the next video till then see you bye bye jai hind